Chapters 8 through 13 of the Book of Nehemiah from the World English Bible. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by November 8, Echo Victor Victor. Nehemiah from the World English Bible, Chapters 8 through 13. Chapter 8. All the people gathered themselves together as one man into the broad place that was before the water gate, and they spoke to Ezra the scribe to bring the book of the law of Moses, which Yahweh had commanded to Israel. Ezra the priest brought the law before the assembly, both men and women, and all who could hear with understanding, on the first day of the seventh month. He read therein before the broad place that was before the water gate, from early morning until midday, in the presence of the men and the women, and of those who could understand, and the ears of all the people were attentive to the book of the law. Ezra the scribe stood on a pulpit of wood, which they had made for the purpose, and beside him stood Mattitiah, and Shema, and Aniah, and Uriah, and Hilkiah, and Maasiah on his right hand, and on his left hand Pediah, and Mishael, and Malchijah, and Hashem, and Hashpadana, Zechariah, and Meshullam. Ezra opened the book in the sight of all the people, for he was above all the people, and when he opened it all the people stood up, and Ezra blessed Yahweh the great God. All the people answered, Amen. Amen, with the lifting up of their hands. They bowed their heads and worshipped Yahweh with their faces to the ground. Also Jeshua and Bani and Sherebiah, Jamin, Akab, Shabbathai, Hodiah, Maasiah, Kilita, Azariah, Josabad, Hanan, Peliah, and the Levites, caused the people to understand the law, and the people stayed in their place. They read in the book, in the law of God, distinctly, and they gave the sense so that they understood the reading. Nehemiah, who was the governor, and Ezra the priest the scribe, and the Levites who taught the people, said to all the people, This day is holy to Yahweh your God. Don't mourn nor weep, for all the people wept when they heard the words of the law. Then he said to them, Go your way. Eat the fat, drink the sweet, and send portions to him for whom nothing is prepared, for this day is holy to our Lord. Don't be grieved, for the joy of Yahweh is your strength. So the Levites stilled all the people, saying, Hold your peace, for the day is holy, neither be grieved. All the people went their way to eat, and to drink, and to send portions, and to make great mirth because they had understood the words that were declared to them. On the second day were gathered together the heads of fathers' households of all the people, the priests and the Levites, to Ezra the scribe, even to give attention to the words of the law. They found written in the law how that Yahweh had commanded by Moses that the children of Israel should dwell in booths in the feast of the seventh month and that they should publish and proclaim in all their cities and in Jerusalem, saying, Go out to the mountain, and get olive branches, and branches of wild olive, and myrtle branches, and palm branches, and branches of thick trees to make booths as it is written. So the people went out and brought them, and made themselves booths, every one on the roof of his house, and in their courts, and in the courts of God's house, and in the broad place of the water gate, and in the broad place of the gate of Ephraim. All the assembly of those who had come again out of the captivity made booths, and lived in the booths, for since the days of Jeshua the son of Nun, to that day the children of Israel had not done so. There was very great gladness. Also day by day, from the first day to the last day, he read in the book of the law of God, they kept the feast seven days, and on the eighth day was a solemn assembly, according to the ordinance. Chapter 9 
Now in the twenty-fourth day of this month, the children of Israel were assembled with fasting and with sackcloth and earth on them. The seed of Israel separated themselves from all foreigners and stood and confessed their sins and the iniquities of their fathers. They stood up in their place and read in the book of the law of Yahweh their God a fourth part of the day, and a fourth part they confessed and worshipped Yahweh their God. Then Jeshua and Bani, Kadmael, Shebaniah, Bani, Sheribiah, Bani, and Kanani of the Levites stood up on the stairs and cried with a loud voice to Yahweh their God. Then the Levites, Jeshua and Kadmael, Bani, Hashabniah, Sheribiah, Hodiah, Shebaniah, and Pethahiah said, Stand up and bless Yahweh your God from everlasting to everlasting. Blessed be your glorious name, which is exalted above all blessing and praise. You are Yahweh, even you alone. You have made heaven, the heaven of heavens, with all their army, the earth and all things that are on it, the seas and all that is in them, and you preserve them all. The army of heaven worships you. You are Yahweh, the God who chose Abram and brought him out of Ur of the Chaldees and gave him the name of Abraham and found his heart faithful before you and made a covenant with him to give the land of the Canaanite, the Hittite, the Amorite, and the Perizzite, and the Jebusite, and the Girgashite, to give it to his seed and have performed your words, for you are righteous. You saw the affliction of our fathers in Egypt, and heard their cry by the Red Sea, and showed signs and wonders against Pharaoh, and against all his servants, and against all the people of his land, for you knew that they dealt proudly against them, and made a name for yourself as it is this day. You divided the sea before them, so that they went through the midst of the sea on the dry land, and you cast their pursuers into the depths, as a stone into the mighty waters. Moreover, in a pillar of cloud you led them by day, and in a pillar of fire by night, to give them light in the way in which they should go. You came down also on Mount Sinai, and spoke with them from heaven, and gave them right ordinances and true laws, good statutes and commandments, and made known to them your holy Sabbath, and commanded them commandments and statutes and a law by Moses your servant, and gave them bread from the sky for their hunger, and brought forth water for them out of the rock for their thirst, and commanded them that they should go in to possess the land which you had sworn to give them, but they and our fathers dealt proudly and hardened their neck, didn't listen to your commandments, and refused to obey, neither were they mindful of your wonders that you did among them, but hardened their neck, and in their rebellion appointed a captain to return to their bondage. But you are a God ready to pardon, gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abundant in loving kindness, and didn't forsake them. Yes, when they had made them a molten calf, and said, This is your God who brought you up out of Egypt, and had committed awful blasphemies. Yet you and your manifold mercies didn't forsake them in the wilderness. The pillar of cloud didn't depart from over them by day to lead them in the way, neither the pillar of fire by night to show them light and the way in which they should go. You gave also your good spirit to instruct them, and didn't withhold your manna from their mouth, and gave them water for their thirst. Yes, forty years you sustained them in the wilderness. They lacked nothing. Their clothes didn't grow old, and their feet didn't swell. Moreover, you gave them kingdoms and peoples which you allotted according to their portions. So they possessed the land of Sion, even the land of the king of Heshbon, and the land of Og, king of Bashan. You also multiplied their children as the stars of the sky, and brought them into the land concerning which you said to their fathers that they should go in to possess it. So the children went in and possessed the land, 
and you subdued before them the inhabitants of the land the canaanites and gave them into their hands with their kings and the peoples of the land that they might do with them as they pleased they took fortified cities and a rich land and possessed houses full of all good things cisterns dug out vineyards and olive groves and fruit trees in abundance so they ate were filled became fat and delighted themselves in your great goodness nevertheless they were disobedient and rebelled against you and cast your law behind their back and killed your prophets that testified against them to turn them again to you and they committed awful blasphemies therefore you delivered them into the hand of their adversaries who distressed them in the time of their trouble when they cried to you you heard from heaven and according to your manifold mercies you gave them saviors who saved them out of the hand of their adversaries but after they had rest they did evil again before you therefore left you them in the hand of their enemies so that they had the dominion over them yet when they returned and cried to you you heard from heaven and many times you delivered them according to your mercies and testified against them that you might bring them again to your law yet they dealt proudly and didn't listen to your commandments but sinned against your ordinances which if a man does he shall live in them turned their backs stiffened their neck and would not hear yet many years you put up with them and testified against them by your spirit through your prophets yet would they not give ear therefore you gave them into the hand of the peoples of the lands nevertheless in your manifold mercies you did not make a full end of them nor forsake them for you are a gracious and merciful god now therefore our god the great the mighty and the awesome god who keeps covenant and loving kindness don't let all the travail seem little before you that has come on us on our kings on our princes and on our priests and on our prophets and on our fathers and on all your people since the time of the kings of assyria to this day however you are just in all that is come on us for you have dealt truly but we have done wickedly neither have our kings our princes our priests nor our fathers kept your law nor listened to your commandments and your testimonies with which you testified against them for they have not served you in their kingdom and in your great goodness that you gave them and in the large and rich land which you gave before them neither did they turn from their wicked works behold we are servants this day and as for the land that you gave to our fathers to eat its fruit and its good behold we are servants in it it yields much increase to the kings whom you have set over us because of our sins also they have power over our bodies and over our livestock at their pleasure and we are in great distress yet for all this we make a sure covenant and write it and our princes our levites and our priests seal it chapter ten now those who sealed were nehemiah the governor the son of hakaliah and zedekiah sariah azariah jeremiah pasher amariah malchijah hattush shevaniah malak harem merimoth obadiah daniel ginnathan barak mishalem abijah mijamin maaziah bilgai shemiah these were the priests the levites namely jeshua the son of azaniah benui of the sons of henadad cadmael and their brothers shebaniah hodiah kelita peliah hanan micah rehob hashabiah zachar sheribiah shebaniah hodiah benai beninu the chiefs of the people perish Paeth Moab, Elam, Zatu, Bani, Bunai, Asgad, Bibai, Adonijah, Bigvai, Aden, Ater, Hezekiah, Azur, Hodiah, Hashem, Bizai, Hera, Anathoth, Nobai, Magpiash, 
Meshelam, Hezer, Meshezabel, Zadok, Jadua, Pelatiah, Hanan, Aniah, Hoshea, Hananiah, Hashab, Halohesh, Pilha, Shobek, Rehum, Hashabna, Maasiah, and Ahiah, Hanan, Anan, Malak, Harim, Baana. The rest of the people, the priests, the Levites, the porters, the singers, the Nethinim, and all those who had separated themselves from the peoples of the lands to the law of God, their wives, their sons, and their daughters, every one who had knowledge and understanding, they joined with their brothers, their nobles, and entered into a curse and into an oath to walk in God's law, which was given by Moses, the servant of God, and to observe and do all the commandments of Yahweh our Lord, and his ordinances, and his statutes, and that we would not give our daughters to the peoples of the land, nor take their daughters for our sons. And if the peoples of the land bring wares or any grain on the Sabbath day to sell, that we would not buy of them on the Sabbath or on a holy day, and that we would forego the seventh year and the exaction of every debt. Also we made ordinances for ourselves to charge ourselves yearly with the third part of a shekel for the service of the house of our God, for the showbread, and for the continual meal offering, and for the continual burnt offering, for the Sabbaths, for the new moons, for the set feasts, and for the holy things, and for the sin offerings to make atonement for Israel, and for all the work of the house of our God. We cast lots, the priests, the Levites, and the people, for the wood offering, to bring it into the house of our God, according to our fathers' houses, at times appointed year by year, to burn on the altar of Yahweh our God, as it is written in the law, and to bring the first fruits of our ground, and the first fruits of all fruit of all kinds of trees year by year to the house of Yahweh, also the firstborn of our sons and of our livestock, as it is written in the law, and the firstborn of our herds and of our flocks to bring to the house of our God, to the priests who minister in the house of our God, and that we should bring the first fruits of our dough and our wave offerings and the fruit of all kinds of trees, the new wine and the oil to the priests, to the rooms of the house of our God, and the tithes of our ground to the Levites, for they, the Levites, take the tithes in all the cities of our tillage. The priest, the son of Aaron, shall be with the Levites when the Levites take tithes, and the Levites shall bring up the tithe of the tithes to the house of our God, to the rooms, into the treasure house. For the children of Israel and the children of Levi shall bring the wave offering of the grain, of the new wine, and of the oil to the rooms, where are the vessels of the sanctuary, and the priests who minister, and the porters, and the singers. We will not forsake the house of our God. Chapter 11 the princes of the people lived in Jerusalem. The rest of the people also cast lots, to bring one of ten to dwell in Jerusalem, the holy city, and nine parts in the other cities. The people blessed all the men who willingly offered themselves to dwell in Jerusalem. Now these are the chiefs of the province who lived in Jerusalem, but in the cities of Judah every one lived in his possession in their cities, Israel, the priests, and the Levites, and the Nethinim, and the children of Solomon's servants. In Jerusalem lived certain of the children of Judah, and of the children of Benjamin, of the children of Judah, Ataiah the son of Uzziah, the son of Zechariah, the son of Amariah, the son of Shephatiah, the son of Mahalaleel, of the children of Perez. And Maasiah, the son of Barak, the son of Colhosi, the son of Haziah, the son of Adiah, the son of Joyarib, the son of Zechariah, the son of the Shilonite, 
All the sons of Perez, who lived in Jerusalem, were four hundred sixty-eight valiant men. These are the sons of Benjamin. Salu, the son of Meshelam, the son of Joed, the son of Padiah, the son of Coliah, the son of Maasiah, the son of Ithael, the son of Jeshiah. After him, Gebei, Salai, nine hundred twenty-eight. Joel, the son of Zichri, was their overseer, and Judah, the son of Hasenua, was second over the city. Of the priests, Jediah, the son of Joarib, Jachin, Sariah, the son of Hilkiah, the son of Meshullam, the son of Zadok, the son of Merioth, the son of Ahitab, the ruler of God's house, and their brothers who did the work of the house, 822. And Adiah, the son of Jeroham, the son of Peleliah, the son of Amzai, the son of Zechariah, the son of Pasher, the son of Malchijah, and his brothers, chiefs of fathers' households, 242. And Amashsai, the son of Azareel, the son of Ashzai, the son of Meshilamoth, the son of Immer, and their brothers, mighty men of valor, 128. And their overseer was Zabdael, the son of Hagadolim, of the Levites, Shemaiah, the son of Hashab, the son of Ezraikam, the son of Hashabiah, the son of Bunai, and Shebathai and Josabad, of the chiefs of the Levites, who had the oversight of the outward business of God's house. And Mataniah, the son of Micah, the son of Zabdi, the son of Asaph, who was the chief to begin the thanksgiving in prayer, was Babbukiah, the second among his brothers, and Abda, the son of Shamua, the son of Galil, the son of Jeduthun. All the Levites in the holy city were 284. Moreover the porters, Achab, Talman, and their brothers, who kept watch at the gates, were 172. The residue of Israel, of the priests, the Levites, were in all the cities of Judah, every one in his inheritance. But the Nethinim lived in Ophel, and Ziah and Gishpa were over the Nethinim. The overseer also of the Levites at Jerusalem was Uzai, the son of Bani, the son of Hashabiah, the son of Mataniah, the son of Micah, of the sons of Asaph, the singers, over the business of God's house. For there was a commandment from the king concerning them, and a settled provision for the singers as every day required. Pethahiah, the son of Meshezabel, of the children of Zerah, the son of Judah, was at the king's hand in all matters concerning the people. As for the villages with their fields, some of the children of Judah lived in Cariath Arba and its towns, and in Dibon and its towns, and in Jacabzeel and its villages, and in Jeshua, and in Molada, and in Beth Pellet, and in Hazar Shual, and in Beersheba and its towns, and in Ziklag, and in Mekona and in its towns, and in Enrimon, and in Zorah, and in Jarmuth, Zanoa, Adolam and their villages, Lachish and its fields, Azika and its towns. So they encamped from Beersheba to the valley of Hinnom. The children of Benjamin also lived from Geba onward, at Michmash and Ija, and at Bethel and its towns, at Anathoth, Nob, Ananiah, Hazor, Ramah, Geteum, Hadid, Zeboam, Nabalat, Lod, and Ono, the valley of craftsmen. Of the Levites, certain divisions in Judah settled in Benjamin's territory. Chapter 12 Now these are the priests and the Levites who went up with Zerubbabel, the son of Shealtael, and Jeshua, Sariah, Jeremiah, Ezra, Amariah, Malak, Hattush, Shechaniah, Reham, Merimoth, Ido, Ginnathoi, Abijah, Maijamin, Maadiah, Bilgah, Shemaiah, 
and Joyarib, Jediah, Salu, Amuk, Hilkiah, Jediah. These were the chiefs of the priests and of their brothers in the days of Jeshua. Moreover, the Levites, Jeshua, Binuai, Kadmael, Sheribiah, Judah, and Mattaniah, who was over the thanksgiving, he and his brothers, also Bakbekiah and Unno, their brothers, were over against them according to their offices. Jeshua became the father of Joachim, and Joachim became the father of Eliashib, and Eliashib became the father of Joiada, and Joiada became the father of Jonathan, and Jonathan became the father of Jadua. In the days of Joachim were priests, heads of fathers' households, of Sariah, Moriah, of Jeremiah, Hananiah, of Ezra, Meshullam, of Amariah, Jehohanan, of Malachi, Jonathan, of Shebaniah, Joseph, of Haram, Adna, of Meriloth, Helkai, of Ido, Zechariah, of Ginnathan, Meshullam, of Abijah, Zichri, of Maniamon of Moadiah, Piltai, of Bilga, Shemua, of Shemiah, Jehonathan, and of Joyarib, Matinai, of Jediah, Uzai, of Solei, Kalei, of Amuk, Eber, of Hilkiah, Hashabiah, of Jediah, Nethaniel. As for the Levites in the days of Eliashib, Joiada, and Johanan, and Jadua, there were recorded the heads of fathers' households, also the priests in the reign of Darius the Persian. The sons of Levi, heads of fathers' households, were written in the book of the Chronicles, even until the days of Johanan the son of Eliashib. The chiefs of the Levites, Hashabiah, Sheribiah, and Jeshua the son of Kadmael, with their brothers over against them, to praise and give thanks according to the commandment of David, the man of God, watch next to watch. Mataniah and Bakbekiah, Obadiah, Meshullam, Talman, Akab, were porters keeping the watch at the storehouses of the gates. These were in the days of Joachim, the son of Jeshua, the son of Josadak, and in the days of Nehemiah the governor, and of Ezra the priest the scribe. At the dedication of the wall of Jerusalem, they sought the Levites out of all their places to bring them to Jerusalem, to keep the dedication with gladness, both with giving thanks and with singing with cymbals, stringed instruments, and with harps. The sons of the singers gathered themselves together, both out of the plain around Jerusalem and from the villages of the Netophathites, also from Beth Gilgal, and out of the fields of Geba, and as Maveth, for the singers had built them villages around Jerusalem. The priests and the Levites purified themselves, and they purified the people, and the gates, and the wall. Then I brought up the princes of Judah on the wall, and appointed two great companies who gave thanks and went in procession. One went on the right hand on the wall toward the dung gate, and after them went Hoshiah, and half of the princes of Judah, and Azariah, Ezra, and Meshullam, Judah, and Benjamin, and Shemiah, and Jeremiah, and certain of the priests' sons with trumpets, Zechariah, the son of Jonathan, the son of Shemiah, the son of Mataniah, the son of Micaiah, the son of Zachar, the son of Asaph, and his brothers, Shemiah, and Azarel, Milalai, Gilalai, Maai, Nethaniel, and Judah, Hanani, with the musical instruments of David, the man of God, and Ezra the scribe was before them. By the spring gate and straight before them they went up by the stairs of the city of David, at the ascent of the wall above the house of David, even to the water gate eastward. The other company of those who gave thanks went to meet them, and I after them with the half of the people on the wall above the tower of the furnaces, even to the broad wall, and above the gate of Ephraim, and by the old gate, and by the fish gate, and the tower of Hananiel, and the tower of Hamia, even to the sheep gate, 
and they stood still in the gate of the guard. So stood the two companies of those who gave thanks in God's house, and I and half of the rulers with me, and the priests, Eliakim, Maasiah, Miniamin, Micaiah, Elaoenai, Zechariah, and Hananiah with trumpets, and Maasiah, and Shemaiah, and Eleazar, and Uzai, and Jehohanan, and Malchijah, and Elam, and Ezer. The singers sang loud with Jezrehiah their overseer. They offered great sacrifices that day, and rejoiced, for God had made them rejoice with great joy, and the women also and the children rejoiced, so that the joy of Jerusalem was heard even afar off. On that day were men appointed over the rooms for the treasures, for the wave offerings, for the first fruits, and for the tithes to gather into them according to the fields of the cities, the portions appointed by the law for the priests and Levites. For Judah rejoiced for the priests and for the Levites who waited. They performed the duty of their God, and the duty of the purification, and so did the singers and the porters according to the commandment of David, and of Solomon his son. For in the days of David and Asaph of old there was a chief of the singers, and songs of praise and thanksgiving to God. All Israel in the days of Zerubbabel and the days of Nehemiah gave the portions of the singers and the porters as every day required, and they set apart that which was for the Levites, and the Levites set apart that which was for the sons of Aaron. Chapter 13 On that day they read in the book of Moses, in the audience of the people, and therein was found written, that an Ammonite and a Moabite should not enter into the assembly of God for ever, because they didn't meet the children of Israel with bread and with water, but hired Balaam against them to curse them. However, our God turned the curse into a blessing. It came to pass, when they had heard the law, that they separated from Israel all the mixed multitude. Now before this, Eliashib the priest, who was appointed over the rooms of the house of our God, being allied to Tobiah, had prepared for him a great room, where before they laid the meal offerings, the frankincense, and the vessels, and the tithes of the grain, the new wine, and the oil, which were given by commandment to the Levites, and the singers, and the porters, and the wave offerings for the priests. But in all this I was not at Jerusalem, for in the two and thirtieth year of Artaxerxes king of Babylon I went to the king, and after certain days asked I leave of the king. And I came to Jerusalem, and understood the evil that Eliashib had done for Tobiah, in preparing him a room in the courts of God's house. It grieved me severely. Therefore I cast forth all the household stuff of Tobiah out of the room. Then I commanded, and they cleansed the rooms, and there brought I again the vessels of God's house, with the meal offerings and the frankincense. I perceived that the portions of the Levites had not been given them, so that the Levites and the singers who did the work had fled every one to his field. Then I contended with the rulers and said, Why is God's house forsaken? I gathered them together and set them in their place, then brought all Judah the tithe of the grain and the new wine and the oil to the treasuries. I made treasurers over the treasuries, Shelemiah the priest and Zadok the scribe, and of the Levites, Padiah, and next to them was Hanan the son of Zachar the son of Mataniah for they were counted faithful, and their business was to distribute to their brothers. Remember me, my God, concerning this, and don't wipe out my good deeds that I have done for the house of my God and for its observances. In those days saw I in Judah some men treading wine presses on the Sabbath, and bringing in sheaves, and loading donkeys, as also wine, grapes, and figs, and all kinds of burdens which they brought into Jerusalem on the Sabbath day. 
and I testified against them in the day in which they sold food. There lived men of Tyre also therein, who brought in fish, and all kinds of wares, and sold on the Sabbath to the children of Judah and in Jerusalem. Then I contended with the nobles of Judah, and said to them, What evil thing is this that you do, and profane the Sabbath day? Didn't your fathers do thus, and didn't our God bring all this evil on us, and on this city? Yet you bring more wrath on Israel by profaning the Sabbath. It came to pass that when the gates of Jerusalem began to be dark before the Sabbath, I commanded that the doors should be shut, and commanded that they should not be opened until after the Sabbath. I set some of my servants over the gates, that no burden should be brought in on the Sabbath day. So the merchants and sellers of all kinds of wares lodged outside of Jerusalem once or twice. Then I testified against them and said to them, why do you stay around the wall? If you do so again, I will lay hands on you. From that time on they didn't come on the Sabbath. I commanded the Levites that they should purify themselves, and that they should come and keep the gates to sanctify the Sabbath day. Remember to me, my God, this also, and spare me according to the greatness of your loving kindness. In those days also I saw the Jews who had married women of Ashdod, of Ammon, and of Moab, and their children spoke half in the speech of Ashdod, and could not speak in the Jews' language, but according to the language of each people. I contended with them, and cursed them, and struck certain of them, and plucked off their hair, and made them swear by God, You shall not give your daughters to their sons, nor take their daughters for your sons or for yourselves. Didn't Solomon, king of Israel, sin by these things? Yet among many nations was there no king like him, and he was beloved of his God, and God made him king over all Israel. Nevertheless, foreign women caused even him to sin. Shall we then listen to you to do all this great evil, to trespass against our God in marrying foreign women? One of the sons of Joiada, the son of Eliashib the high priest, was son-in-law to Sanballat the Horonite, therefore I chased him from me. Remember them, my God, because they have defiled the priesthood, and the covenant of the priesthood, and of the Levites. Thus I cleansed them from all foreigners, and appointed duties for the priests, and for the Levites, every one in his work and for the wood offering at times appointed, and for the first fruits. Remember me, my God, for good. End of the Book of Nehemiah